Hello, and welcome to this week's Penn Energy News Update. On behalf of our generous sponsor, Deloitte Center for Energy Solutions, who made this broadcast possible, I'm Hilton Price. The Environmental Protection Agency has issued a new set of emissions regulations for unconventional natural gas producers, creating the first set of guidelines for hydraulic fracturing. Fracking has led to the release of a significant amount of pollutants, including nitrogen oxide and methane. These new rules will require companies capture many of these compounds during the drilling process. There are concerns about the cost of implementing the new rules. The concern has led the EPA to delay the deadline from 60 days to the start of 2015. BP has announced it has reached agreements with the Plaintiff's Steering Committee to resolve the economic loss and medical claims stemming from the Deepwater Horizon accident and oil spill. The parties have filed for preliminary court approval of the two settlement agreements. BP and the PSC say they believe these settlement agreements are a fair, reasonable, and adequate resolution to the claims. BP estimates that the cost of the settlement will be approximately $7.8 billion and is expected to be paid from the $20 billion trust available to satisfy legal claims and other costs. The UK Department of Energy and Climate Change has granted consent to Total to drill a relief well to tackle the gas leak at the Elgin field. The high temperature, high pressure well will be used to safely block and permanently seal the Elgin well if a dynamic kill operation is unsuccessful. Total is working with the UK government on the dynamic kill, planning to use heavy mud to block the well. A DECC spokesman says the agency will continue to monitor the situation. Cracks may be forming in the U.S. and European sanctions against Iranian oil imports. Reuters is reporting Iranian oil tankers have been circumventing sanctions by operating without the normal electronic tracking and identification equipment. This is allowing them to transport oil to clients secretly. Of the 39 oil ships that make up Iran's tanker fleet, only nine are currently operating with their black boxes active. Iran has allegedly been forced to offer generous discounts on shipments and insure its own ships. New estimates suggest the UK could hold a wealth of unconventional natural gas resources. The British Geological Survey has released new projections for the country's onshore and offshore shale natural gas that would rank the country's reserves among the largest in the world. Onshore estimates have ranged around 200 trillion cubic feet, more than 57 times the country's annual consumption. Offshore estimates are even higher, reaching as high as one quadrillion cubic feet. However, some have disputed how much of that could be harvested. Thank you for joining us this week. For these stories and more, go to penenergy.com.